Suspended in the endless night, our gleaming oasis, the International Space Station. A testament to human ingenuity, it pushes the boundaries of science and exploration. But even among the stars, a need for a trusty tool can arise. And that's where our story begins, with the tale of a wrench, a printer, and a story of conflicting narratives that takes us down a very nerdy rabbit hole. This isn't the first object 3D printed in space, but it is the first created to meet the needs of an astronaut. When International Space Station Commander Barry Wilmore needed a wrench, NASA knew just what to do. They emailed him one. And this was the first time an object designed on Earth had been sent to space for manufacture. At least that's the story we've all been told. The internet's favorite space age MacGyver tale. And that was a quote, by the way, from the official NASA download page. For this wrench, you can get one yourself, just an STL file, and you can print it on any commercial 3D printer. And because I am a nerd with a 3D printer, I wanted to make one of these for myself, and I wanted it to be exactly the way that they made it on that fateful mission, just for fun. So I started digging. I wanted to know exactly what materials they made this out of, what size nozzle they used, all that fun stuff. What I found instead rocks me to my very nerdy core. That story we all know and love, to lie. Now I confess I'm not your average wrench wheel wrench wheel wrench wheel wrench red leather yellow leather. I'm not your average wrench wielding astronaut, but I am a curious soul, one who enjoys tinkering with tools and a good mystery. So I delved into a furious bout of uh, googling, and the more I uncovered, the more that doubt began to gnaw at the edges of the story. First, I came across this article from Wired.co.uk which seems to corroborate the story that we're all familiar with. In fact, it says the same thing that the NASA download page says. Like, the exact same thing. A little suspicious, but we'll get back to that. There was also this article from around 2020 on a website called redwirespace.com, which seems to provide more detail to the classic story. One of the crew members had lost his wrench. When MIS found he needed the tool, they immediately worked to change the last part that was going to be printed during the mission. This wrench was the first 3D printed part uplinked from Earth to space. It filled an immediate need for a crew member and demonstrated the importance in-space manufacturing would have in future endeavors. And that's cool, that's the story that we assume to be true. The only problem is that that article, where that story is detailed, was accompanied by videos. A lot of videos. And all of them have since been deleted. And that's all the written material that I could dig up. There was some news coverage covering the mission in general, but Nowhere really was the wrench itself discussed. And then I dug a little deeper and uh, found this clip of the co-founder of Made in Space, the company that manufactured and sent that printer up to space aboard the space station, saying this. Good example of a, of a tool that we built in space. And this actually came from the request of an astronaut asking for a ratchet. And we, we designed this ratchet from literally from nothing and had it printed in space five days later. So we got three parties in this story. We have NASA, on record, this is the story. Made in space, on record, this is the story. The astronauts, strangely silent. What's going on? It was just a little bit fishy and I just wanted an answer. So I emailed everyone I could think of. The astronauts themselves, NASA, the Made in Space Facebook page, which is an email, but you know what I mean. No one got back to me, so I was kind of at a dead end. I had two entities of the three confirming the story, neither of which had a lot of supporting evidence, and no first-hand accounts from the astronauts aboard the mission to back it up. Kind of a lame story, kind of died there. It was frustrating, and then all of those deleted videos, something was going on, and I really wanted to figure out just what the heck was happening. But more importantly, what kind of filament did they use for this thing? I still couldn't figure that out. So I decided to dig even deeper I uncovered something in the last place I even thought to look. The NASA website, which is, it's not the least obvious place, it's just the last place I thought to look. But anyway, the NASA website, where they themselves write articles and conduct interviews with personnel from NASA about the missions that they go on. Sure enough, they had an article written with not the astronauts, not made in space, but Nikki Werkheiser, the space station 3D printer program manager at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, in Huntsville, Alabama, and she spilled the beans. In less than a week, the ratchet was designed, approved by safety and other NASA reviewers, and the file was sent to space where the printer made the wrench in about four hours. 
The ratchet wrench will be returned to the ground for analysis and testing along with the other parts printed in space. This is the first time a design file has been sent from the ground to make a tool. So we see a couple elements are coming together. This happened. This was printed in space by NASA for a mission. Cool, here's where it gets spicy. We wanted to work this just like we would for tools that the astronauts will 3D print and use on the station, explained Warkheiser. This wrench will not be used in space, but what if it were a tool the crew needed? We are breaking new ground, not only in the way we manufacture in space, but also in the way we operate and approve space hardware that is built in space, rather than launched from Earth. Did you hear that? You hear it? Baloney. It's half, it's like a third baloney. The marketing stuff. Eh. So there you have it. No urgent astronaut, please. No 11th hour design sessions. This was a planned test. A demonstration of on-demand printing for future missions. And most importantly, this wasn't ever intended for actual use in space. It's just a test. So what, what's the deal? Is NASA covering something up? Did Made in space, eager to showcase their technology, let little marketing spin get out of hand, perish the thought. Or maybe it was a deliberate attempt to just add a touch of drama to an otherwise very technical story. Whatever the case may be, the discrepancies leave us with one final question. Where does the line blur between truth and storytelling, even when it comes to the wonders of space exploration? Ultimately, the truth is for you to decide. Do you trust a manager of the 3D printer program? Do you trust a co-founder of Made in Space? Do you trust a NASA intern that plagiarized a wired.co.uk article, I presume? Um, I leave that up to you to make unhinged comments about. As for me, I'm on to my next adventure. What started as a quest for a wrench turned into something so much more. A borderline conspiracy theory that I could make an extremely specific YouTube video about. Thanks for watching it. Subscribe.